everyone. Welcome to Point to Find Zoo and Aquarium Storytime. Today, Suki and some of her friends are going to read The Saggy Baggy Elephant. So here we are with our little lunchbox. All right, here we go. A happy little elephant was dancing through the jungle. She thought she was dancing beautifully. One, two, three, kick. But whenever she went one, two, three, her big feet pounded so that they shook the whole jungle. And whenever she went kick, she kicked over a tree or a bush. The little elephant danced along, leaving wreckage behind her until one day she met a parrot. Why are you shaking the jungle all to pieces, cried the parrot, who had never before seen an elephant. What kind of an animal are you anyway? The little elephant said, I don't know what kind of animal I am. I live all alone in the jungle. I dance and I kick and I call myself Suki. It's a good sounding name and it fits me, don't you think? Maybe, answered the parrot, but if it does, it's the only thing that does fit you. Your ears are too big for you, your nose is way too big for you, and your skin is much, much too big for you. It's baggy and saggy. You should call yourself Saggy Baggy. Suki sighed. Her pants did look pretty wrinkled. I'd be glad to improve myself, she said, but I don't know how to go about it. What shall I do? I can't tell you. I never saw anything like you in my whole life, replied the parrot. The little elephant tried to smooth out her skin. She rubbed it with her trunk. That did no good. She pulled up her pant legs, but they fell right back into dozens of wrinkles. It was very disappointing, and the parrot's saucy laugh didn't help a bit. Then a tiger came walking along. She was a beautiful sleep tiger. Her skin fit her like a glove. Suki rushed up to her and said, Tiger, please tell me why your skin fits so well. The parrot says mine is all baggy and saggy, and I do want to make it fit me like yours fits you. The tiger didn't care a fig about Suki's troubles, but she did feel flattered and important, and she did feel just a little mite hungry. My skin always did fit, said the tiger. Maybe it's because I take a lot of exercise, but, added the tiger, if you don't care for exercise, I shall be delighted to nibble a few of those extra pounds of skin off for you. Oh no, thank you, no thank you, cried Suki. I love exercise, just watch me. Suki ran until she was well beyond reach. Then she did somersaults and rolled on her back. She walked on her hind legs and she walked on her front legs. When Suki wandered down to the river to get a big drink of water, she met the parrot. The parrot laughed harder than ever. I tried exercising, sighed the little elephant. Now I don't know what to do. Soak in the water the way the crocodile does, laughed the parrot. Maybe your skin will shrink. So Suki tramped straight into the water. But before she had soaked nearly long enough to shrink her skin, a great big crocodile came swimming up, snapping his fierce jaws and looking greedily at Suki's tender ears. The little elephant clambered up the bank and ran away, feeling very discouraged. I'd better hide in a dark place where my bags and sags and creases and wrinkles won't show, she said. By and by, she found a deep, dark cave, and with a heavy sigh, she tramped inside and sat down. Suddenly, she heard a fierce growling and grumbling and snarling. She peeped out of the cave and saw a lion padding down the path. I'm hungry, roared the lion. I haven't had a thing to eat today. Not a thing except a thin, bony antelope, and a puny monkey, and a buffalo, but such a tough one. And two turtles, but you can't count turtles. There's nothing much to eat between those saucers they wear for clothes. I'm hungry. I could eat an elephant. And he began to pad straight towards the dark cave where the little elephant was hidden. This is the end of me, sags, bags, wrinkles, and all, thought Suki. And she let out one last trumpeting bellow. Just as she did, the jungle was filled with a terrible crashing and an awful stomping. A whole herd of great gray wrinkled elephants came charging up. And the great big hungry lion jumped up in the air, turned around, and ran away as fast as he could go. Suki peeped out of the cave, and all the big elephants smiled at her. Suki thought they were the most beautiful creatures she had ever seen. I wish I looked just like you, she said. You do, grinned the big elephant. You're a perfectly dandy little elephant. And that made Suki so happy that she began to dance. One, two, three, kick through the jungle with all those big, gray, friendly elephants behind her. The saucy parrot watched them dance, but this time he didn't laugh, not even to himself. The end. Thank you for joining us in our adventure with the Saggy Baggy Elephant here at Point to Find Soon Aquarium, and we hope to see you soon.
She creeped out of the cave and saw a lion padding down the path. Cut! That's not a lion, that's a sea lion. It was a beautiful, sleek tiger. Her skin fit her like a glove. Cut! That's not a tiger, that's a tiger rockfish.